Hey guys, welcome to Northwest Christian Church. We're going to be having our Good Friday service this morning. I have some help from Nathan and Tom and Darcy. They're going to be singing some songs for us as we read scripture together. So if you'll turn in your Bibles with me to John chapter 18 and 19, we're going to read the story of Jesus' passion on the cross for us. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was an olive grove, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the grove, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it that you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said, and Judas, the traitor, was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again, he asked them, Who is it that you want? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. I told you that I am he. Jesus answered, If you are looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words he had spoken would be fulfilled. I have not lost one of those you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus commanded Peter, Put your sword away. Shall I, shall I not drink the cup the Father has given me? Then the detachment of soldiers, with its commander and the Jewish officials, arrested Jesus. They bound him and brought him, brought him first to Annas, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the Jews that it would be good if one man died for the people. Simon Peter and another disciple were following Jesus. Because this disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the high priest's courtyard. But Peter had to wait outside the door. The other disciple, who was known to the high priest, came back, spoke to the girl on duty there, and brought Peter in. You are not one of his disciples, are you? The girl at the door asked Peter. He replied, I am not. It was cold, and the servants and officials stood around a fire they had made to keep warm. Peter also was standing with them, warming himself. Meanwhile, the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and his teaching. I have spoken openly to the world, Jesus replied. I always taught in synagogues or at the temple, where all the Jews come together. I said nothing in secret. Why question me? Ask those who heard me. Surely they know what I said. When Jesus said this, one of the officials nearby struck him in the face. Is this the way you answer the high priest, he demanded? If I said something wrong, Jesus replied, testify to what is wrong. But if I spoke the truth, why did you strike me? Then Annas sent him, still bound, to Caiaphas the high priest. As Simon Peter stood warming himself, he was asked, You are not one of his disciples, are you? He denied it, saying, I am not. One of the high priest's servants, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, challenged him. Didn't I see you with him in the olive grove? Again, Peter denied it, and at that moment, the rooster began to crow. Then the Jews led Jesus from Caiaphas to the palace of the Roman governor. By now it was early morning, and to avoid ceremonial uncleanness, the Jews did not enter the palace. They wanted to be able to eat the Passover. So Pilate came out to them and asked, What charges are you bringing against this man? If he were not a criminal, they replied, we would not have brought him over to you. Pilate said, Take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. But we have no right to execute anyone, the Jews rejected. This happened so that the words of Jesus had spoken, indicating the kind of death he was going to die would be fulfilled. Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Is that your own idea, Jesus asked? Or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew, Pilate replied? It was your people and your chief priests who handed you over to me. What is it that you have done? Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jews. But now my kingdom is from another place. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You are right in saying I am a king. In fact, for this reason I was born. And for this I came into the world to testify the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? Pilate asked. With this, he went out again to the Jews and said, I find no basis for a charge against him, but it is your custom for me to release to you one prisoner at the time of Passover. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? They shouted back, No, not him. Give us Barabbas. Now Barabbas had taken part in a rebellion. So I cherish the old rugged cross. Till my trophies at last I hit the town I will cling to the old rugged cross Candy 
exchange it someday for a crown on a new hill far away stood an old rugged cross the emblem of suffering and shame and I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain so I cherish the old rum Till my trophies at last I head they down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown on that old rugged cross. So despised by the world has wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God, He left His glory above to bear it to the Calvary. I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I hid lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday. and cross I will ever be true it's shame and reproach gladly bear then call me someday to my home far away where is glory forever I will share I cherish the old round cross till my trophies at last I head lay down. I will cling to the old rock cross and exchange it someday. Did my sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred hand for sinners such as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight. And now I am happy all the day. Was it for the crimes that I have done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. 
at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. the sun in darkness side and shot his glories in when Christ the mighty maker died for man the creature sin at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can never repay the debt of love I owe. If Lord, I give myself away is all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in purple robe and went up to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and they struck him in the face. Once more Pilate came out and said to the Jews, Look, I am bringing him out to you to, go to, to, you, to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. When Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, Pilate said to him, Here is the man. As soon as the chief priests and their officials saw him, they shouted, Crucify! Crucify! But Pilate answered, You take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against him. The Jews insisted, We have a law, and according to that law, he must die because he claimed to be the Son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid, and he went back inside the palace. Where do you come from? He asked Jesus, but Jesus gave him no answer. Do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said. Don't you realize I have the power to either free you or to crucify you? Jesus answered, you would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater son. From then on, Pilate tried to set Jesus free, but the Jews kept shouting, If you let this man go, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who claims to be a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard this, he brought Jesus out and sat down at the judge's seat at a place known as the Stone Pavement, which in Aramaic is Gabbatha. It was the day of the, pa of the preparation of Passover week about the t sixth hour. Here's your king, Pilate said to the Jews. But they shouted, take him away, take him away, crucify him. Shall I crucify your king, Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the chief priest answered. Finally, Pilate handed him over to them to be crucified. So the soldiers took charge of Jesus. Carrying his own cross, he went out to the place of the skull, which in Aramaic is called Golgotha. Here they crucified him with two others, one in, on each side of, and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had, notice, had a notice prepared and fastened to the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the king of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this sign, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city, and the sign was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. The chief priests of the Jews protested to Pilate, do not write that he was the king of the Jews, but that this man claimed to be the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, what I have written, I have written. When the soldiers crucified Jesus, they took his clothes, dividing them into four shares, one for each of them, with the undergarment remaining. This garment was seamless, woven in one piece from top to bottom. Let's not tear it, they said to one another. Let's decide by lot who will get it. 
This happened that the scripture might be fulfilled, which said, They divided my garments among them and cast lots for my clothing. So this is what the soldiers did. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, the mother's, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Dear woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, the disciple took her into his home. Later, knowing that, that all was now completed, and so that the scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, but the sponge on a, put the sponge on a stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus' lips. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. And with that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Now it was the day of preparation, and the next day was to be a special Sabbath. Because the Jews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the Sabbath, they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. The soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with Jesus, and then those of the other. But when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony, and his testimony is true. He knows that he tells the truth, and he testifies so that you may also believe. These things happened so that the scripture would be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken, and, as another scripture says, they will look on the one they have pierced. Later, Joseph of Arimathea asked Pilate for the body of Jesus. Now Joseph was a disciple of Jesus, but secretly because he feared the Jews. When Pilate, with Pilate's permission, he came and took the body away. He was accompanied by Nicodemus, the man who had earlier visited Jesus at night. Nicodemus brought a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about 75 pounds. Taking Jesus' body, the two of them wrapped it with the spices and strips of linen. This was in accordance with Jewish burial customs. At the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden, a new tomb in which no one had ever been laid. Because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. Let's pray. Dear Father, I pray that you would come and you would remind us of the passion that you that you gave for our, our sake, God. We, we take this day, this evening, to remember your sacrifice on the cross on our behalf. God, I pray that we would not forget it, that we would never take it for granted, but we would thank you always for what you were willing to do in order to save and forgive us. Have a good evening. Down at the cross where my Savior died Down for cleansing from sin I cry there till my heart was a blood of blind. I'm singing glory to his name. Glory to his name. I'll sing glory to his name. There to my heart was a blood of Sing glory to his name. I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus sweetly abides within. There at the cross where he drew me in. I'm saying glory to his name. Sing glory to His name. There, to my heart was a blood of mine. I'm saying glory to His name. Oh, precious fountain that saves from sin. So glad I have ventured in. Jesus, Jesus saves me and keeps me clean. Oh, sing glory to His name. Glory to His name. 
or sing glory to his name. There to my heart was a blood applied. Oh, sing glory to his name. Come to this fountain so rich and sweet. Cast your poor soul at the Savior's feet. Plunge in today and be made complete. And sing glory to His name. Oh, glory to his name oh sing glory to his name dead to my heart was a blood of blind oh sing glory to his name glory to his name Sing glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Oh, sing glory to his name.